We are excited to announce that Zoom Sessions now supports hybrid and in-person event use cases. This is a pretty common type of event that comes up a lot, so we wanted to take a nice walkthrough to show you what all is possible using Zoom events or sessions for those single session in-person um, or hybrid events. So let's take a look. We're going to use the sample uh, event here, my innovation summit, and everything starts on the landing page. Our page builder allows event hosts to build out compelling and dynamic event pages within the platform. Embedded videos, uh, customized sections, pop-ups you see here, uh, speaker information, plenty of opportunity to motivate people to register for your event. For this event in particular, we are offering different ticket types for virtual, in-person, and we're even offering an after party here. So let's take a look at the registration process from the, the viewpoint of an attendee. And this attendee has an early bird discount code. We can put that discount code in and we see that our discount pricing is displayed. Let's go ahead and register for an in-person ticket. One thing to note here is that hosts can customize registration questions based on the ticket type. That way you can ask the right questions and, and capture the right information uh, based, on, based on the ticket. So there we go. We've completed that registration process. From there, your attendees receive a confirmation email and up to three reminder emails. Let's take a look at those. These emails can be customized to include all relevant information. Here I've given instructions for both my virtual attendees along with uh, my in-person attendees. All right, so that's everything leading up to the event. Let's look at what happens when an attendee gets on site. We have a few options to manage check-in. Let's take a look at just the two most simple. First, you can offer self check-in. Every event has a QR code for check-in that you can display on signage at your event venue. Your attendees can then scan that with their mobile device and check in and join the mobile lobby for your event. My favorite example of this came from a customer that hired <laughs> hired a couple of robots to roll around their event lobby with the QR code attached to them. Attendees had to chase down a droid to check in. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. You can also set up a registration desk and have your event team check people in. One of the best parts about this is that with Zoom events, it's all done right in the Zoom mobile app. Your team just opens the event lobby on their phone, hits the QR code scanner, and off they go. Let's turn our attention now to the attendees experience. Everything for them happens right on the Zoom mobile app. Under more, you have an events button. Go check it out now. From here, attendees can find the list of events that they are registered for to join. Also, if they just scan your QR code, it'll bring them right into this app as well. Once they're in the event lobby, from there they can join the session, find the event map, this is really nice, learn more about the event, and can even download any uh, materials you've provided that might support your event. They can even head over to the speaker section and view speaker bios and uh, connect, even connect with their social profiles, things like that. Now, let's get this session started. In the session, your attendees' mobile devices become a great way to enhance participation and drive engagement. All of your attendees can participate in the same way, whether they're attending in person or virtually at home at their, at their desk. Chat and Q&A are great places to start driving this engagement. One simple idea here is to make sure to dedicate time in your live session to respond to a few of the top questions that are appearing in Q&A. Have a moderator uh, read them out to your presenters. This is very efficient. It keeps uh, events moving along. It's a lot better than sort of mic runners. Um, and when you drive everybody to the Q&A, your team can respond to a lot more questions and have all of those uh, documented for after the fact for any follow up or any um, anything you want to do. It's a great, great place to learn what your audience is uh, needing to learn from you. Another incredibly powerful aspect to the Zoom mobile app is language accessibility. An attendee can now follow along with your content and watch translated captions in their own language. This is all AI generated. You just have to make sure it's enabled for your account. Or if you're offering live interpreters, they can slip in an earbud, your attendees, toggle on the AV stream and listen into the right feed. This used to be really, really complex uh, to, to manage uh, AV interpretation audio devices. It's all just now a part of the Zoom app. Really, really powerful system. 
Reactions and resources give you even more opportunity to connect with your audience. Calls to actions, helpful links, speaker bios are all uh, right there in the palm of your attendees' hands. Great way to, to deliver whatever you need to deliver to your, uh, your audience. And don't forget, I like to encourage everyone, don't forget the power of polls and quizzes. Right here is a great way to let your presenters create engagement, helps them understand the audience, and it can bring a lot of energy to your event. Really good pro tip here, Zoom Docs plus AI Companion are very good at creating poll or quiz questions based on your content. Just drop in some content and ask AI Companion to do the rest. You could even just brainstorm some fun uh, icebreaker polls, that kind of thing. And the final place of engagement is the post-event survey. As soon as your session concludes, the survey launches, and you can capture that all-important real-time feedback from your audience. Again, this is launched uh, whether your attendees are at home or they're sitting with you in the room. Finally, once your event has uh, finished, has concluded, once your attendees get back to their desk the next day, uh, you can send out a, a thank you for coming email that drives them back to the lobby. Uh, here they can collect any uh, materials they'd like to review. They can find the, the PowerPoint deck or any PDF content you want to share with them and watch the recording. So I want to give you a look at the recording experience here. So let's flip over to an event that we hosted last year. Here you can see the, the nice recording pop up. It's a beautiful player captioning transcript. That's all available here. And AI generated smart chapters are uh, ready to go for your audience. It's a really, really nice experience. All right, thank you for your uh, attention. As you can see, Zoom Events and Sessions is ready to go, ready to handle your hybrid and in-person single session uh, events. I can think of a ton of great uh, applications for those. Hopefully we inspired you and, and encouraged you to check this uh, feature out. It's uh, it's a part of, part of everything that you're doing if you're a Zoom Events and Sessions customer. So have at it, check out the feature, uh, have a great day.